and we're back. Uh, so why don't you tell me a little bit about what what it's like um, being so far away from where you're from and everything like that and play music up in the north now? Um, it's, uh, it can be lonely not having your, um, family and friends around. Um, but it is artistically a really nice place to be. Honestly, it's beautiful out here. I mean, everywhere you look, it's just natural beauty and it, you can't help but be grounded to the present when you look out at the mountains because they're they're there like you're looking at them and they affect you right in the now and you're just you're there um and you're away from the things that provided you comfort and i, I think that a lot of a lot of artists maybe don't develop as quickly as they could because they're hindered by their comfort bubble you know and being outside of that um helps honestly if you if you stay concentrated on your art form and and just kind of deal with the uncomfortableness you will create new things and i think it's to be judged later whether they're good or bad but as long as you're creating new things you're getting better so for me that's been that's been great being away from where i grew up and familiar territory and familiar scenery has been really good um yeah good man have you been up there for a full summer and everything like that? I came up in March, actually, and worked and lived in Yellowstone National Park, playing music and occasionally fixing things. Okay. <laughs> it, was, it was an interesting back and forth job. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I played music for the employees, for the guests, played in um, Livingston, Gardner, Bozeman, West Yellowstone, Cody, um, all the little towns around the park as well, which was fun. Nice. Really good, really good experience there. Yeah. Do you know where Kelly is? It sounds familiar. I probably should know. I probably have driven through it. Is it? Um, which... It's, it's, so do you know where Mormon Row is? Mormon Row? Yes. No, I don't. Okay. Do you know where like that famous picture of the old barn is out in front of the Tetons on the Jackson side? Yes. Oh, Kelly. I know where Kelly is. Yeah. It's yeah. up to the to the right, right? If you're going north. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I I grew up and lived in Kelly. Oh man. Yeah. What a place to live. Holy shit. Cra crazy place to grow up and live. And it's been a lot of inspiration for me. And uh it's led me to love songs like uh Mountain Song by Flatland, which coincidentally sounds a lot like your Mr. Mountain song. Uh do you wanna tell me a little bit about that song? Yeah, so Mr. Mountain was written on that same, I guess all, all the songs were written on that road trip, but that was actually written uh, just north of the park, coming into Gardner, over the, uh, coming from Billings into Gardner, so that mountain range that you come across on 49, I can't remember what no, interstate that, remember is. that one is either. It goes through Livingston and you cut south. Um, and then coming through Paradise Valley from Livingston down to Gardner. Um, I had driven quite a ways by then, and I was sleeping in the back of my Tacoma. <laughs> which I had rigged up pretty sweet, actually. It was a nice little camping situation. But it was pretty lonely. I was by myself. And uh, in a moment of loneliness, wrote that song. Because similar to my experience just being here, no matter what's going through your head, like happy, sad, neutral, if you're stuck in your head or thinking about something, you can just look out at the mountains and you will be distracted from whatever you're thinking. You'll be brought into the, the present and just things won't be as bad. You won't be as carried away by emotion or whatever you're going through at the time. And um, that's what happened. I was driving. I was feeling pretty lonesome, lonely and looked out and, Stared at the beautiful range there. I think it was the Absarokas that's right there. And uh, yeah, it, it kind of that song came to me. And the, the walk down, I believe I had already come up with. Like that was something that I'd come up with on a song building exercise one day. And um, it, yeah, put it together and 
and it worked for that for that particular emotion I was going for. So I also <laughs> won a, a talent competition with that in the park. There's an employee talent competition that I played that song for, and it worked really well. Won the competition for that. It was great. So people yeah, up there love it. Yeah, that's I've awesome. heard Flatlands Mountain song though that you mentioned it, and that is a great song as well. I I love that song. Like it's. I might be one of their best if they thought their best in my opinion i i went to a concert of theirs at the grizzly rose in denver and they open with that song and like just the opening riff to that song blew my socks off even more in person like the live he added just a few more little nicks onto a little few more little riffs onto it and it just absolutely made every hair on my body stand on end because it is just such a moving song that makes you feel like you're standing out in a cold morning about to go do something in the mountains mm -hmm. yeah it it we touched the same emotion i feel like i heard I, that and thought the same thing i was like this is I will say my song came out first. Let's play. Uh, yours, 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 yours did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I've Do watched have... this guy kind of, kind of come up too. It's been cool. It's been really nice seeing. I heard them early on and thought, I thought they were great, but I mean, I just I've said I saw so many great bands around that time, like Forty Nine Winchester. There's another great example, and I was like, Caitlin Butts was another, and I'm just like, these people are all, they're all, you know, they, they've hit it now, but then I was like, they're just another one of those extremely talented people that won't make it because they're not mainstream. Mainstream, yeah. Or they're just not lucky enough, maybe, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. look where they're at now, you know? They, exactly. They over and they've uh, well-deserved everything they've got, for sure yeah uh caitlin's awesome she actually came and played at that show too uh she uh helped with the duet on um life where we work out and she sang their rendition of whiskey lullaby with him and everything she is another one that i am just a huge fan of she's got a killer voice killer yeah. voice great songwriter marple lights is i heard that and i was just like oh man what a vibe dude like you just get this West Texas neon landscape in your, in your, uh, in your mind when you think about that song. I, actually, wow, well, I say West Texas is where they're from, but I don't think Marfa's in West Texas, right? I think California I, somewhere. I, I think it's in California somewhere, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. You get that. Total, it's it's, like, it's still that <laughs> kind of deserty vibes. You kind of get. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's it's cool. Like it's a cool, cool song. All like. <sighs> All of their music makes me feel like I am at one of the best country music like <laughs> concerts that I've ever been to. And that was one of the most fun concerts that I've ever been to was when they played together. They're they're such a cute couple too. Yeah, I was about to say, I think they're they're married, aren't they? You're engaged. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they're married. I wouldn't be surprised if she's written a few of their songs with them, you know. I, I bet she has too, because she's yeah. a talented songwriter to her own right, too. Uh what else she can she do? Blood. They're all awesome songs off her new album. Yeah. Yeah. I need to go through it again. I've hit the top five from the album probably, but not listened to it all the way through. It it has a different kind of vibe when you go through and listen to it uh every track because it kind of paints this super melancholy picture but then there are also like rays of hope in there and uh it's it's a fun album i i really do enjoy it and the artwork and everything on it are super cool too that's i'm I'm always a sucker for the artwork on albums uh i think that when you do it right it can really enhance the uh the feel of the album too is she putting out vinyl yeah yeah she is um here, hold on just really quick Um, let's see if I can get my camera to work for a minute so I can show you this. So, yeah, this is I don't know, my camera's still upside down, so I'm kind of like, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, no, you're good. 
you're good. It won't focus on it. There we go. Oh yeah. And it's that, that's awesome. Cause that's what you, yeah. that's what you picture. Like that's what, that's what I view. And when I hear Marfa lights and close my eyes. So. Yeah. And then the vinyl itself is pretty cool too. So. Yeah. 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 That's I feel like you're doing something right. If you can afford to even break even on putting out vinyl. Yeah. And, uh, Another one who does a lot of cool, like different kind of vinyls like that is Casey. Casey puts yeah. out like, uh, like her star crossed vinyl is, um, it's a locket and, uh, the opening to it, it opens like front ways. So like, instead of sliding out one way, it opens like, a, like a locket would, and it opens out, um, and the vinyls yeah. inside there and it's crisscrossed over the lock it in the middle it's pretty cool it's a cool vinyl design star crossed oh yeah. yeah that is pretty cool man i have i'm a sucker for album art too i just have not gotten the gumption to put out a final yet i think when i looked at it for 200 i want to say it was 50 a pop i believe that's that's pretty rough <laughs> it is you know i mean obviously like caitlin butts and flatland and yeah yeah, like, yeah they're crazy because god knows how many she's putting out but like caitlin Buss is probably you know doing a thousand order yeah, yeah at, at, at least yeah. yeah yeah and she went through and signed the pre-recorded ones of these um one of my proudest achievements right there <laughs> nice, man yeah yeah uh i actually got to meet her um when i know that she wouldn't remember it but she's playing some little bar in uh texas when i was there for a whole summer and i got to meet her that was super cool that was way before she was super big or anything like that but it was awesome yeah what were you doing in texas uh i was working for my uncle he is a cutting horse trainer in central texas got you is that so you want to do large animal veggie i mean you mentioned you're pre-vet yeah, yeah, I am. And that's one of the reasons that uh, the ticket made me laugh so damn hard is <laughs> when you're like, yeah, it's way too late. I've had that conversation with people where it's like, yeah, your dog ate it, but that's been like hours ago and it's way too late to do anything for it. <laughs> yeah, you're, he's in it to win it. He's, he's going to come he's, out he's, with a different being. Exactly. Bow up. <laughs> Doggy Bow mama. Up. Oh, man. Yeah. Speaking of which, I don't know if you saw the album art for that, the Chihuahua. Oh, it was so funny. <laughs> yeah, I found that actually. I found that um, on an internet search and then was able to contact the artist and they were like, absolutely use that for your album artwork. And then had a friend of mine, a graphic des graphic designer, put the corners on. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you like that. And I love that's probably my favorite one, favorite album artwork I've done so far. That was pretty sweet. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, man. Well, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with me and everything like that. Oh, really quick. I you ask me. This has been great. This has yeah. really been Before you go, um, I just wanted to ask you one more thing. Um, what do you think the direction of country music is right now? Because I've kind of been asking a lot of people like this and I've gotten a few different answers. So I want to see where do you think country music right now is headed? Do you think that Red Dirt, Americana, uh mainstream country where is all of it heading and do you like it or do you wish that you could change some things i think i think that americana acted as kind of like the moon acts on the tide you know it kind of pulled country music in back towards alternative country but i think americana soon will probably dissolve as far as country music goes into alternative country and i think Alternative country now has got so much traction and such a foothold that it will eventually trickle into your pop country. Flavors of it are going to trickle in. Your uh, your co Wetzels will probably end up being on the radio and be your next Luke Bryan's kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know what you know. <laughs> That's, but you know, it's like it's good or bad. Two, it is what it is. Plus, there are two evils, I think. There, but yeah. Um, I think that that's that's the direction that it's probably going. Is if you're looking at it as a trying to find the center of country music and where that's moving, but God, it's such a large animal now. You know, between between American alternative country, mainstream country, bluegrass, um, it is such a 
huge animal that you don't even need to look at the middle. You can just stay over here on your little corner where you like and, and still be overwhelmed with artists and, and songwriters. So yeah, I, uh, right now I'm trying to find artists just in Wyoming or surrounding States. And I have interviews lined up until Chris Ledoux days, uh, which is in July. So <laughs> Chris what's that? Chris who? Uh, Chris Ledoux days. It's, it's a festival. Oh, in... you're interviewing Chris Ledoux. I was like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, ho- hopefully oh. someone adjacent to him, but that's later. Um, cool. Yeah, but no, uh, they do. Thanks, man. They have, yeah, they have a big festival for Chris Ledoux in uh, KC, Wyoming every year. And Ned plays, and this year Reckless Kelly is playing, and so is Bren Hill. And Ooh. yeah, yeah, it should be sweet. But uh, yeah, I am so busy just with like Wyoming and surrounding state artists right now that I am booked out for a while. Well, good for you, dude. I'm glad that you fit me in. Oh, I'm glad to have found you, man. I, I'm i super happy to get you on and get you some attention. Yeah, I'll keep you posted on the next album. All right, do it. Probably what, May. What's... Somewhere around in May. May? All right. Well, May yeah. 3rd, that'll be an awesome birthday present for me. All right, I'll remember that. Sweet, man. Well, thanks for coming on. Uh, shout out where people can find you quick. Yeah, literally, henrypeppin.com. If you type in Henry Pepin into Google, it'll take you to my music some which way, so... That's the easiest way. All right. And make sure you check out Western Sounds. Western Sounds on anywhere that you can find a podcast. Uh, YouTube as well. Make sure you follow Western Sounds on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Western Sounds. And if you're interested, be sure to join my uh, Reddit. We have some cool artist interactions and that sort of thing on there. And I'll keep you posted on where my new episodes are coming out and new music and i also have a new music friday playlist where i update all of the new music that came out that week and try and stay up to date on all the good music that's coming out thank you guys so much for listening thanks for coming on henry Woo! see you man